Gaining in popularity, we visit Spain's next door neighbor, Portugal. Joining us will be Dara's brother, Arvin, his wife, Kelly, and our friends, Kush and Eric. In this multi-part series, we start off in the home of port wine, Porto. Next, we go to Portugal's capital and largest city, Lisbon. Located in the Portuguese Riviera, we finish off our trip in the beautiful towns of Sintra and Belém. Do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all of our travel videos. Vamos! Hola, como esta? We are here in Porto in Portugal. Yep, once again another adventure for Two Birds One Planet. Actually, it's more like four birds, one planet. There's two other birds. We found two other birds. <laughs> <laughs> and there are two more birds as well coming six on the birds. way. So it'll be six birds, one planet for this edition. So we are actually here. We just checked into our uh, apartment uh, here in the middle of Porto. Our taxi driver said it was the middle of the middle. It's in the center of the center of Porto. And it's true, there's just a bunch of tourists out there right now. Awesome view out here, which we're gonna show you in a sec. And we just wanted to show you the apartment that we have, because it's pretty kick-ass. I don't know about you guys, but it's awesome. Yeah, I Shall love we? this apartment. All right, let's give them the tour. Come okay. this way. Oh, I lovely really table. like these chairs, and they're really comfortable. They're appropriate for six people. <laughs> <laughs> Let me demonstrate how I spin them. <laughs> and that's that's one. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> we have a sink, <laughs> a stove, a microwave oven. slash oven. A door. A door. Oh, this is a window, I didn't even realize. And a window to snoop on the people walking up and down the stairs. <gasps> Creepy! That is kind of creepy. She go like this. Oh, you can see the light though. <laughs> I don't know how to go back to Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so while they figure that out, I'm gonna take you upstairs. I've had kind of upstairs. So, they're still trying to figure that out. Bathroom. Bedroom number one. And let's see what they're up to before I see that. Yep, so. Okay, so they're doing that. They have the nice, beautiful king queen hybrid bed, I think. Or is this two beds put together? It's two beds. It's two beds put together. Okay. We're very jet lagged. <laughs> Did not sleep on this flight over. Oh, so we're a little bar. senile. It's a cafe. Ooh. Oh, we can have coffee hey, over there. Hey, look, locals. Hi, local people. <laughs> Can I try the peak? We'll be here for about five days before we head off to the capital, Lisbon. Stay tuned for some awesome, awesome, awesome stuff here in Porto.
we decided to do takeaway. So this is actually that. Good. Thanks. How do you like the pastiche? Good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like in your face. <laughs> Ooh. This looks good too. They all look good. It's really good. Was it worth the walk? Today we have set up a private tour with Andre from withlocals.com. It's a great way for us to see Porto from the eyes of a local, as well as hidden gems that tourists may not normally see. I have added his link to our description below if you would like to set up a tour with him. So we're on a tour right now with Andre who's showing us around Porto. And it's hot. But then it's cold. <laughs> but then it gets cold in the shade. It's very San Francisco weather out here. <laughs> Here we are at the Sao Bento Railway Station. This building was constructed over a number of years starting in 1904, based on plans by architect José Márquez da Silva. The large panels of azulejo tile were designed and painted by Juarez Colasso. They were completed in 1916 and the station was then inaugurated. The murals represent moments in the country's history and the multicolored panels depict rural scenes showing the people of various regions. The station is located in the historic center of Porto, which has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site and as a National Monument of Portugal. This is the Dom Luis I Bridge. It is a double deck metal arch bridge that spans the Douro River between the cities of Porto and Vila Nova de Gaia in Portugal. At its construction, it spanned 172 meters, or 564 feet, was the longest of its type in the world. It has been confused with the nearby Maria Pia Bridge, a railway bridge that was built nine years earlier. We got some amazing views up here. same day we set up another tour. Being the big foodies we are, 
we set up a food tour with local tour guide and Porto native, Fernando, who is also from withlocals.com. He was an amazing tour guide that showed us the best spots for food in his hometown. If you are ever in Porto, you must schedule a tour with him. I have added his link to our description section below. Okay, vamos comer! We start off at a place called Gazella, which makes an amazing food called cachorrinhos. What are they exactly? Here, I'll let Fernando tell you. So this is a hot dog. It's only made here. The guys, they, they make the bread specially for them here. Uh, then they put the uh, smoked fresh sausage. They grill it. They put some cheese. Then they grill it again. And they put a spicy sauce. Typically Portuguese spicy sauce with Peri peri. I don't know if you've heard of it. Peri peri sauce. So, it's just delicious. <laughs> right? You see why people are waiting outside? <laughs> this is not real, is it? No. No, it's real. Is it real? It has zero dollar bills. No, these are zero dollar bills. Zero dollar bills? Zero dollar bills. Touch it. Touch it. Take one. It says, in God we trust, all others leave a message. <laughs> zero. Zero dollar bills. I'm rich, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is how our money like smells. Just, just like, like that. Okay. It's not a good smell. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like it's like Lisbon. <laughs> <laughs> Lisbon smells like American money. <laughs> cool, right? Yeah. In the restaurant place outside? We struck it rich. We got zero dollars. <laughs> so now we gotta show you something else. We need to show you something <laughs> <laughs> Here we are about to try one of Portugal's most popular street foods, the Bifana sandwich. And so how do you make one? Well, Fernando would probably say, first you take some thinly sliced pork strips, and then they put it inside the peri peri sauce with tomato and beer and other things. It's a, like their secret recipe. So it sits there for hours. And they just take it out, put it inside the, the bread, yeah, that, that's the spiciness, and just give it a taste of it. Must be really good. Exactly. I also had, well, not, not the best pizza. Here's to a night well spent. Thank you. Maybe this is not enough for everyone. So just take some for yourselves and try. Salud. Salud. Oh. Salud. Cheers. <laughs> I hope you like it. Awesome start to our trip so far. I don't know about you, but I could use a drink. In part two, we taste some amazing port wines. Not enough wine? Okay. We will then travel north to visit more wineries and sample even more Portuguese wines. So please click on the next video in the series to check it out with us. As always, thumbs if you like it, subscribe if you love it. Thanks for watching. Ciao!